on Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out, we're having some fun and looking at what's in the cards. What's in store for 2021? What messages do the cards have for you? Have you been looking for a sign and are open to hearing or seeing one? Contemplate and enjoy messages from the Oracle cards as we continue our month focused on welcoming 2021. Do you control your clutter or does your clutter control you? Unclear your clutter inside and out. We'll teach you awareness as well as action steps to create change in your life. Come on, let's get started. Today is a bonus episode. I thought we'd have some fun. I love Oracle cards because they allow me to focus my intuition. I try really, really hard to pay attention to what messages are coming my way. You know, when we lost our cat Athena, I got messages constantly from her for 24 hours, and I'm still getting messages, which helped me heal. I know they were from her. It's things that, as unbiased as I tend to be and really like, oh, is that real? Yes, it's real. And we are constantly, our intuition is dropping hints. The universe is saying, hey, hello, look over here. But are we open to it? Are we paying attention? Oracle cards help me clear spiritual clutter because it allows me to focus. And it's the same with mental clutter and emotional clutter. It allows me to get calm, get centered and focus. What is it that I need to hear? I pulled one the other day, getting ready for something to deal with the HOA, and it was unconditional love. And a part of me was kind of annoyed. Really? I need to show these people unconditional love? But it allowed me to take a step back and think before I spoke. I was like, I'm not going to respond. I'm going to have all my words so that as much as humanly possible, I can come from love. I did this a few years ago. And I love it. And whenever I'm on social media and I see pick a card, any card, or someone, they have those cute little short videos, someone I know does it and they flip cards and they edit in the messages, I always stop. I always stop. Or I like the ones when it's, you know, I don't know how you do a screenshot. I just hit on it eventually until it'll stop. But I always do this. So I thought that we'd enjoy this today. And I'm also going to encourage you to listen to this later. Maybe it's a year or two from now. Maybe it's six months. Time is a man-made construct. So you're going to get the messages that you need to hear when you need to hear them. You know, I talk about reading Eat, Pray, Love every couple of years because I learned something new or reading it, oh, you really needed to hear that and you missed that last time or it didn't stand out. But it's going to apply with where I am and what I need to hear. Same with all the podcasts, maybe pick up something you haven't listened to in a year because there might be a message that you need to hear. What I ended up doing, I'm getting smarter as I get older, is I picked seven decks for today. They're new ones. We didn't use them a couple years ago, and it's not clutter if I use it. And so what I ended up doing was getting smarter, and I sat, I have a little reading chair, little area in our bedroom where I can read. And so I meditated. I was like, what is it that people need to hear? And then I went through the decks until, of course, Tony set off the fire alarm cooking. But thankfully, we were able, I had pulled the card and take a break and it ended up working okay. So I don't think we have any crazy energy that we need to worry about. So what I did was pick the card from the deck, have everything ready. So I I'm excited because I saw a couple things but haven't read it. And I was like, ooh, this is going to be really fun. So I will show you if you're watching on YouTube. And in the show notes, I will include the name of the deck and the person that wrote it. And I, I laid them all out and asked to be intuitively led. What is the order of all this? And then as I shuffled and put my energy on it, and I know some people that shuffle really super hard and then, you know, a card might flip out and that's the one you're supposed to use. I'm like, eh, I don't do that. Shuffle them in the energy. And I said, what is it that people listening and watching need to hear most? If you've been contemplating anything, just listen, what feels right to you and go from there. 
and really embrace and be open to listening. And not just today, be open to seeing the signs everywhere because they are if we want to pay attention. You know, one example, when we had to put Athena down and we had to put her down the day before the election, I figured she checked out then because she's like, I don't even want to deal with this crazy America. And so I couldn't sleep and I woke up at like three in the morning. And so I didn't go on Google. I went on DuckDuckGo, which if you don't want to be tracked, it's great. And I'm trying to use that more. And so I looked for signs that your cat is trying to get you a message. And the cat that popped up on the thing is a tabby. Now, four out of five cats are black. And a tabby is the first thing I see when I post on this. And then the next morning, I'm on this newsletter, which is really great. And it really details what's going on in Raleigh for the day. It's really well done. And they just happen to do a whole thing. Now, there's nothing really. Let's, we're going to talk about animals that need adopted. Well, guess what? There is a picture of a tabby cat. So in addition to this episode, I'm just saying just be open. And especially if you've been struggling, know that you are loved and look for those signs. So the first deck guided was Healing with the Angel Oracle Cards. And these are all Oracle Cards. They are not Tarot Cards, which are different. So this was by Doreen Virtue, who no longer, that's a whole other story. Just Google that. So I'll do right here in front of my face if you're watching Healing with the Oracle Card. Guys, I was totally pumped. When well, guess what I pulled for everyone? Manifestation. And so I will read you. We have to say with manifestation. Now only three of the decks came with cards, but here's what manifestation says. You have manifested new opportunities and abundance. I mean, awesome. 2021. Hello. Know that you can experience these, these gifts right now. Okay, right in this moment. Right in this moment, you can experience manifestation. Your hoped for aspirations are on their way to you. They may arrive in a different fashion than you expected. Remember, let's not always get caught up in how we expect things to arrive. But the rewards that you truly desire, such as feelings of peace, security and happiness are manifested exactly as you requested. Ask your angels to help you have faith in your ability to manifest. With this faith, you, you and God can do anything. This is a process by which all thoughts transform in a tangible form. First, they begin with an, as an idea born of divine sources. Then the idea meets with the feeling. If the feeling is loving and nurturing, the idea and the feeling create the embryo of the manifestation. You nourish your newborn idea by believing in it and by following the step-by-step -step guidance that God and the angels give to you through your feelings, dreams, and visions. I love that. So again, that's in addition to manifesting, paying attention. What are you feeling? If something doesn't feel good, I, you're probably not going to want to manifest that. So your dreams, your dreams tell you everything. So again, this is Healing with the Angels, Oracle Card by Doran Virtue. Now the second one, this is so pretty, is the Crystal Oracle, which is by Tony Carmen Salerno. That was really pretty. Look at this cover. And guys, you can always hop on to YouTube if you're on the podcast. Now, I was excited because the card I pulled, I had never heard of, and it is Australian, for all my Aussie listeners, agate. So it's Australian agate. So we will read, and again, this is from Crystal Oracle. The words are perception, strength, courage, and stamina, right? All words, all things that we had to do, strength, courage stamina especially to get us through the year that shall not be named so this is what she says about australian agate agate hopefully i'm saying that okay your power of perception along with your mental and physical body is presently being strengthened this will give you the courage and energy required to tackle what seems at present 
to be a complex and somewhat insurmountable problem. Isn't that great to know? You have the courage to do what you need to do. This problem involves someone who is incompatible with your ideas and principles. You are being urged to stand your ground, yet keep your calm. Don't allow yourself to be psychologically or emotionally bullied. All concern will soon realize the truth of what you have already known for quite some time, that this particular person is simply not the person who they present themselves to be. Ooh, so that's really interesting. So think on your life. Someone's going to show you basically who they are and that your physical body and mind are being strengthened. It's going to give you courage to tackle and the energy, something that you've been like, wow, I don't know if I can do this. I get saying, yes, you can. And then someone maybe is incompatible. Maybe you've been contemplating, hey, I don't know how I feel about this person. I'm kind of cracking up as I read this because while I'm limiting myself on Facebook, I'm going to do, be doing a house cleansing. And I was like, oh, uh, should I? Well, that's just telling me I am on the right path. Okay, the third deck. And this did not come with a little guidebook, so we'll just read what's on the card. The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. So if you've been wondering, does the universe have my back? I pulled the deck, so I'm going to say yes. So the card to the day, aren't they pretty? I think these are, all these cards are so beautifully illustrated. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. I have to tell you something interesting. Well, I'll wait till I get that deck, the card I pulled. So I want to say that again. This is an important message, right? Because we're always coming from love or we're always coming from fear. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So maybe you're contemplating something, something's bothered you and you sit in meditation. And if you find yourself and I'm telling you, there are multiple times if I'm really angry or upset, I have to, okay, bring it back to love, bring it back to love. And you know, you might not be able to answer something in that moment and take time back to come and get grounded and get centered. But what great advice is that? The moment that you realign with love, you're going to hear what you need to. So just as you move forward this year, think about that. When do you need to stop, take a breath and come back to love? Does the thought of clearing your clutter overwhelm you? Clear your clutter inside and out has 21 standalone chapters to fit your schedule and lifestyle. Stop being afraid, gain clarity, and go at your own pace. The Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out workbook lets you record your thoughts step by step as you go through the book. Free MP3 meditation with purchase. Get control of your clutter so your clutter doesn't control you. Reclaim time, money, sanity, and resources. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and also available for purchase on Amazon. Now this is the last one I believe with the Oracle book. So this is Moonology Oracle cards. Isn't that pretty? And on, inside it says, let the moon be your guide. And this is by Yasmin Boland. And I'll tell you what I do. Every year, I think twice a year, Hay House has a sale. And honestly, that is when I buy my Oracle card. So I pulled for Moonology. And I love this. If you have been a longtime listener of the podcast, I hope that you have a big grin on your face. You are good enough. If you're new to the podcast, I often say you are good enough. You are worthy in your love. And this is full moon in Virgo. So we have that in that pretty. And then on the other side, it has the moon phases. So you are good enough. And this is what she has to say about this. And there's a lot to this. I'm going to have to take off my glasses on this one. So you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. It's time to be really honest with yourself and understand What's led you to ask your question? Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is good, but it can go too far 
And drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quite certain that you are good enough. At the other end of the scale, you also need to honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? The full moon and Virgo card needs some truthful answers. Once you've given them, it should be easier to see how you got where you are. Your next step should then be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results. Attune to the moon. Find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. Additional meanings for this card. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. I've talked about that before, where the tension goes, the energy flows. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop second guessing yourself. Raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. The teaching. Oh my God, I am completely cracking up, guys. I mean, the full moon in Virgo is a time to declutter your life, your home, and your office. Okay, you're listening to this podcast. This is what the podcast is about. So you're on the right track. You need to be decluttering. Stick around. It's the time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. It's also the time to clear out your energies via salt baths and meditations and to practice getting more grounded by walking barefoot. I'm barefoot as I record this. No matter when you draw this card, it's a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier life. I have to tell you guys, I'm completely loving all of these cards because again, I sat and shuffled and wow. Now I did something a little bit different for deck five. This is the Practice You Daily Awakening deck by Elena Brower. Isn't that pretty? I love all these. So I'm going to do a two card spread. So for the two card spread, the first signifies what the past is here to teach you. So we begin the year, maybe contemplate if this is something you got from last year. And the second provides a glimpse into the future. I thought that'd be pretty nice. So this again is from the Practice You desk. And this doesn't have a little guidebook, so we're just going to read what's on the cards. You can see that. And then this side. Okay, so this is the past is here to teach you. This is my prayer to embody faith in myself. So think about maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was last month. Maybe it was last year. Embodying faith in yourself. Where did you learn to have faith? Where in the past did you not have faith? And that is what, the, what was significant to teach you. Now, this is a glimpse into the future. Not pretty. This is today's prayer for inner dignity. So this is owning your truth, setting boundaries, having inner dignity. So contemplate that for a moment. What does that mean to you? If I were to think about that, it would be being true to my soul. I mean, not just involving other people, but just myself. Have I honored what my soul wants, which is really interesting as I felt last year was a foundation changing, saying, I don't want to do this anymore. This new year is going to open up opportunities. You know, we're moving in the spring. And that is telling me because I made a decision on something and someone said, oh, no, 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 don't do that. But that's about following my inner dignity. Oh, this is just phenomenal. So the next one, number six, Spirit Cat. And that is by... Where is her name? I don't see her name. Nicole Pear. Pear? Pear? I'll have all this. Isn't that pretty? When everyone is in lockdown and I was supporting a small business for the week, I found this deck online and then I sent it to Cotty because just as a, hey, I want to support this person. And then I was like, well, I should probably get, I don't have any cat oracle decks. What's, I'm a cat mom. What's going on here? And to tell you, I was really touched because I felt Athena when I was shuffling this. Oh, no, interesting what we got. 
soulmate. Meet moon and mirror. They are perfect reflections of each other. They have so much to teach each other and so much to learn. Just as the moon reflects the light of the sun, they reflect each other's light back at each other. They are both emanating and reflecting. Look around. Your friends and family are perfect reflections of you. They are in your dream just as you are in their dream. A perfect paradox. So with each interaction, ask yourself, what do I have to learn from you? What do I have to share with you? What are you teaching me about myself? Remember, we are here to help each other grow. I absolutely love that. I think a lot of times we get stuck on all oh, soulmates, a romance, a romantic partner, but this is such a great reminder. We are constantly learning from each other. I'm here to teach you and you all have taught me and how important that is, especially when the people that drive us nuts, what, what am I learning here? For me, last year, a big lesson was speaking up, standing up for myself. You are teaching me. You've helped co-create the situation so I can stand up for myself. I can say I'm good enough and I'm worthy and it's not okay to treat me that way. So I love this card. What a great way to go through the year and in that moment getting centered and saying, what are you teaching me? right? Because that helps get you neutral. That helps you figure out and not get bent out of shape. And what can I learn? And again, it's not about not expressing the emotions. You know that by now, if you've been listening for a while, but it's what do I need to learn? What do I need to focus on? And because we started off with the healing deck, I thought, let's end with one. And that's where I was guided. So this is the healing mantra deck by Matt Pond. So we have seven for 2021. So this is expressing free will. I love that. You know, as much as I, although I, I need to get someone on to talk about the multiverse, because I've been thinking about that a lot, a lot lately. As much as I believe in karma, I absolutely believe we have free will. So my choices determine how brightly I shine. Reawaken your brilliance. Hello. Looking like a little diamond like here so my choices determine how brightly i shine you know i talk a lot we always have a choice and doing nothing is a choice so what you choose is going to determine how brightly you shine and don't let anyone else dull you you are here to share your gifts with the world i have to tell you all i am in awe i feel like we got an amazing reading for everyone that listens, for everyone that watches. I think for everything that I've talked about, this is, I'm gonna have to do this every year or something. We'll see. I just feel really honored by this because this is your energy too. I ask the people that listen, the people that are gonna find this, what is it that they need to hear? And I really prayed on that and sat in my little meditation reading chair and had quiet and really wanted this to be awesome and I'm over the moon with everything and I hope that you are equally as well and luckily you can play this back over but I'm super excited today this just has has completely made my day and hopefully it has made yours as well take actions from today's podcast contemplate what you heard today consider if or what you need to do with the information you receive. Think about if Oracle decks are something you'd enjoy using regularly. Reflect on what other ways you can receive messages or hone into your intuition. Pay attention to your messages. On our next episode, we're talking about rituals. Go out, clear your clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. When you clear your clutter, you can share your gifts with the world. Sign up for our free newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You've enjoyed Clear Your Clutter Inside and Out. 
please rate, review, and share us.